Meantime, we are hearing firsthand from a woman who was treated by Pignataro. And she has the scars, both mental and physical, documenting her ordeal. Here's I-Team lead investigator Charlie Speck with her story. I've felt pain before. I had never felt pain like this in my life. Terry Lamardi's tummy tuck at the hands of Dr. Anthony Pignataro two decades ago was a surgery that would change her life forever. He knew he did something wrong. How else to explain what Lamardi says was Pignataro's rush to shoo her out the door of his West Seneca office? He yelled at my husband for calling him. I told you it's not blood, it's just fluid, you know, don't be bothering me. But as soon as she got to her house in South Buffalo, blood is just pooling at my feet, like literally a puddle of blood at my feet. Doctors at Mercy Hospital couldn't believe what they were seeing. I had one nurse on one side of my bed, one nurse on the other side. They pulled everything down and they just both started crying. My lawyer likened what he did to me that I looked like I got attacked by a bear. Pignatar was barred from practicing at any of Western New York's hospitals and Lamardi soon came to find out why. He shows up in my hospital room, flips on the light, it's like four o'clock in the morning, and he starts screaming at me to get out of here. I told you you don't belong in the hospital. And he has my chart and he discharged me in my chart. Nurses and security guards came in and they bodily escorted him out of the hospital. Follow-up appointments were something she could only describe as... Dr. Frankensteinish. He grabbed a staple puller out of a drawer and pulled the staples out of my abdomen and then he just threw it back in the drawer. Lamardi's account is backed by public records. This week, as the 7 Eyewitness News I team revealed Pignataro's new efforts to get back into the healthcare field, Lamardi was reminded of Pignataro's bizarre behavior when she was testifying against him two decades ago before a grand jury. This is what a sociopath he is. He saw me and he like broke away from his attorneys and came over to my side of the hall and tried to hug me and said, oh my God, Terry, look at you, you look amazing. I did such a good job. Such a good job that Lamardi would need 13 corrective surgeries to fix. Now, even though Pignataro did call us with that statement earlier in the day, in fairness, we reached out to him again tonight to see if he would respond to some of Lamardi's direct criticisms. He did not return our message. Fascinating reporting really on all of this, Charlie. Thank you very much. Thank you. We do have a